Now we have string theory. It turns out that 100 years ago, math and physics parted ways. In fact, when uh, Einstein proposed special relativity in 1905, that was also around the time of the birth of topology, the topology of hyperdimensional objects, spheres in 10, 11, 12, 26, whatever dimension you want. So physics and mathematics parted ways. Math went into hyperspace. And mathematicians said to themselves, aha, finally, we have found an area of mathematics that has no physical application whatsoever. Mathematicians pride themselves as being useless. They love being useless. It's a, it's a badge of courage, being useless. And they said the most useless thing of all is a theory of differential topology in higher dimensions. Well, physics plotted along for many decades. We worked out atomic bombs, we worked out stars, we worked out laser beams. But recently, we discovered string theory. And string theory exists in 10 and 11 dimensional hyperspace. Not only that, but these dimensions are super. They're super symmetric. A new kind of numbers that mathematicians never talked about evolved within string theory. That's what we call it super string theory. Well, the mathematicians were floored. They were shocked. Because all of a sudden, out of physics came new mathematics. Super numbers, super topology, super dif differential geometry. All of a sudden, we had supersymmetric theories coming out of physics that then revolutionized mathematics.